examinations versus the marks that you have scored finally id what is the comparison do you have some relevance or there is no relevance at all there is actually a lot of relevance in that in our uh, towards the end of our preparation actually whatever tests we wrote mostly uh, prakar only used to come first then here also he is first and whatever order you see there that was mostly the order which we got in our test i remember coming fifth sixth in a lot of my tests oh good and here also have come fifth so i would say that especially in your face exams uh it's fine it's fine if you don't get the rank which you are aiming for there is no problem with that but over the course of your two years in 11th and 12th from phase 1 to phase 8 as long as you see an improvement from what you were previously that is probably the only thing which you which you should actually look for more than like oh i have to get like top first rank or second rank or fifth rank that would be a more important thing to go after than just a particular number like one of our friends actually uh, in uh, 11th beginning he used to get like a rank 60 and then slowly towards 12th end he improved from 60 to a top 10 and he also got a really good rank in advance so that would be more important than just fixating on a number very nice so the student he is not revealing the name i don't know so the rank 60 somewhere he was performing around there and finally he has moved into top 10 working on these ranks so it's really great would you like to name him otherwise uh, he is not here today okay. he is uh, nitin right. then okay good good but anyway next week we'll meet him again good nice so what about aits kind of exams which are always scary rdx aits people say that they'll put you down then they'll disturb you psychologically and all uh, is it so first of all is it true uh, that actually depends on your own nature if you're a person who tends to not get disturbed even if you score really not just eight not just tough exams even easy exams sometimes we do perform badly that is human tendency so if you are a person who tends to not get disturbed easily then you won't have any problems aats particularly because the question is asked over there aats in itself will be of a much tougher level than even je advanced but in a way it's good because that two three tough questions which come in je advance those quest it prepares you to see those questions and not get freaked out in the final exam like you can't look at the question and go oh my god this is such a tough question like it prevents you from doing that over there because you'd have gotten used to seeing those many tough questions in aats and as for scoring in aats uh, if you focus on chemistry which will generally be easier than maths and physics you will be able to get a decent score in aats and again the same thing applies as long as your performance over all the aats just keeps improving gradually uh, that itself is a better indicator rather than again fixating on a number very good very good so see the important takeaway is those who are in 12th standard right now if you are in 12th standard next couple of months you will be starting your aits so the very important message from srivats aats examinations will definitely be a challenge the exams or the questions in the aats paper will be much tougher than original iit je paper but you need not focus too much on your marks because that will give you a good exposure to face tough and challenging questions in the final examination there in the final examination you will not get freaked out you will have some confidence okay fine this is the question which i have seen similar to this in aats paper or so so let me try so especially for the students who are aiming to get into the top 100 top 200 500 there, there is a big message for you there is a big message from srivats so you should also practice this Thank you.